Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna show you some of the, probably some of the coolest inventory that we have on our lot. This is gonna consist of a little bit of everything. Uh, some used cars, not everything is gonna be Mopar, but that's that's probably the fun part about it because it's a little bit for everybody, I guess. Alrighty guys, we're back with another video. Now today, I'm gonna show you guys probably some of the coolest, some of the sickest inventory that we got here. Uh, we got a little bit of everything. It's not all new either. Some of it is used and not everything is Stellantis. So we got some, we got some Fords. I think I got a Range Rover too. We got a little bit of everything here. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna give it some rates, what I think are some of the best cars here. Let's get into it. So first off, we got this 2021 Dodge Charger Daytona here. This one is in smoke show. I really, really like this color. I think it looks really, really good with the mat on the hood and the mat on the roof. It looks beautiful. So this one, of course, for the Daytona, he's got the Daytona on the back there. It looks super, super sick. You're running on the 20 inch aluminum wheels with the four piston Brembos in red all around. You're on the 245 tires all around too. I wish that these came with bigger ones honestly i wish that these came with 275s for the rts it's just you don't get much grip in these so i don't know it's really really nice though uh, so the interior and of course the first thing that we're greeted with is the flat bottom steering wheel it's a really really nice option to have if there's one thing that i wish my rt had it would be the flat bottom steering you guys a couple revs nothing too crazy but you got the stitching on the dash here, the premium leather with that Daytona logo on the side there. And then the seats are heated and ventilated and you get the sport mode and the super track pack too. Alrighty guys, so next up on my list is this Audi Q3. It's a 2018. Let's check the mileage on this. Let's hop on it to the interior. This one's not bad at all, actually. Alrighty, where can I check the mileage? All right, so 24,000 miles. Eh, not not bad at all though. Uh, the interior is a little uh, pretty dirty, but nonetheless, it's gonna get detailed looking brand new. I like that steering wheel. I just I don't like the gauge cluster being up there personally. I like having it right here, but nonetheless, let's uh, start this thing. So up. I was sitting here trying to find out where the start button is. I'm looking here. I'm looking over here. I'm looking everywhere, and then I finally see it down here. The infotainment on. I want to get copyrighted. Oh, and this one does have a dual panoramic sunroof. You do get a fair amount of space in the back. And you though. get some charging ports up here. Let's see. You got a sport mode too. Not a bad little car. Not a. I think this is a nicer starter car. You know. Give you guys another walk around. The back end I actually do like. Oh, I like the exhaust tips on there. It looks really, really nice. I just wish that they put some better wheels on these, but I'm sure you can upgrade them or just get them painted black too. That's everything for this Audi. Let's move on to the next one. Now, next up, we got this 2017 
Tahoe in. I actually really like this one. This one looks really, really nice. I just wish it had the better wheels on it. But let's get on to the interior on this. Okay, all right, it's got the wood trim here. Really, honestly pretty clean. Considering how a lot of these trade-ins come, this one is fairly clean, honestly. I like the touch screens on these, they're really easy to use. You got heated seats as well. You got your charging ports there. Got cup holders and a massive, massive storage compartment. So that's always really, really and nice. As for the back seats, you got your own climate control options here. You do get the third row. And honestly, I, I'm about 5'10 and I still have a, a fairly good amount of room back. It's a little walk around. It's a little dirty on the outside, but I mean, honestly, that's how most of these come in. It's really, really nice. Oh, and you got the tow hook up there too. It's always a massive plus. I would definitely get the chrome in black. I would get the, I would get a chrome delete on this, black everything out, probably get some different wheels on there. But I mean, a really, really nice car though, nonetheless. Really, really nice. Alrighty guys, the next one I got for you here is a Range Rover Discovery. So the one thing I probably dislike about this car more than anything would have to be the rear end. I'm just not a big fan of that. It's just, it's pretty unappealing to me. Let's get onto the interior. Let's check this thing out. Oh my God, these door panels are huge. Pretty clean. This one's sitting at a little over 17,000 miles. Really clean. Let's give this thing a start up. So, I mean, the steering wheel is okay. A lot of buttons on here though. I don't like how big the buttons are. Paddle shifters feel pretty nice. You do get the sunroof and the rear sunroof too. You get three rows. The, these ones are folded down, but you do get a third row so back. You got there. a little carbon trim going on here across the dashboard. You get it here too. It goes all the way across. You got all kinds of different modes here too. You got a sport mode. Seems like you got like an off road. You got desert. You have forest there you have rock now if there was one thing i did not like about this car it would have to be the fact that the window switches are up here it just it seems like such an inconvenience to me and on top of that you're going to be rubbing your hand all over this it's going to get marks all over the window i'm just not a fan of it personally but yeah that's the range rover discovery we got well land rover discovery pretty pretty nice i mean i do like the headlights too the headlights do look really cool I mean, there, there's just a lot of quality on this. I just, it's a it's a quirky car nonetheless. Up next, we have an 18 Ford Raptor. I'm not a Raptor guy myself, solely because it doesn't have a V8, but nonetheless, it's it's a pretty beefy truck, not gonna lie. I mean, it's I, I, I think it's the perfect middle ground. And I think this is a, one of the biggest reasons why people like this more than the TRX, is solely because the TRX is just so huge. It's a it's a massive truck. It's it's you know it definitely requires some good driving skills to drive that around. But I think this is like that perfect middle ground, you know, for a, a good sized sport truck. Let's get on to the interior. First off, you are greeted there with a Ford Performance. You got carbon trim everywhere in here. Okay, let's get in. Get carbon right here on the shifter too, over here. Now the paddles aren't that bad either. I actually really like the paddles. The paddles feel really nice. The whole steering wheel itself is really nice. I like the red line up there too. All right, I'll give you guys a couple revs too. Not bad. Not bad for a twin turbo V6. Give you guys another walk around. Check everything out. I'm so glad though that they put the, the dual exhaust. If they didn't have the dual exhaust, I probably wouldn't be nearly as big of a fan of it. And I will say the wheels that they put on these, they do look pretty nice. They are really stylish. I think it fits the truck perfectly. And now this is a 2018 Dodge Charger Scat So this one is really nice because you got the four piston Brembos in red. But once again, you're running those 245s, man. That's just not enough grip for these. I, I just, I can't believe that Dodge put these on here from the factory. They, they just, they just don't give this car enough grip. Now, what I will say is for an 18, this one is in immaculate condition. We got this in off a lease return. 
So it was already detailed and everything upon arrival. But I mean, they didn't even put a front plate bracket on it. I always love that when people don't put front plate brackets on their cars because you don't have the holes, you don't have to drill into the bumper. And now let's get on to the interior. Really, really clean. This hasn't even been through detail yet. And another big thing too, is these uh the chargers used to come with beat speakers also the durangos too that was an option that you could get with the beat speakers now of course you do get the big touch screen you have the sport mode the super track pack and you have all kinds of performance pages and the app setting and then onto the seats you do get the alcantara bucket seats really really nice i love that super b logo i love how they put that logo on the seats and there. this one is sitting at just a little over thirty-seven thousand miles not bad for an 18 at all and you do get that nice big steering wheel really really nice i love i love dodge's infotainment i love the uconnect and then what you can do is you can go to performance pages let's go take a look in there I'll show you guys all the cool settings that you get all the cool uh stuff that you could do with these performance pages not too many people have it, know that this exists in these. okay so get into the performance pages you get the horsepower here you can get your g-force like what gear you're in you could have all your timers here like your lap timers and everything like that Get more gauges, showing your oil temperature, oil pressure, coolant temp, and a battery voltage. You get your G-forces too. Your engine, you know how much power and torque you're putting down. And my favorite, I love, I love this on my car. You get your own dyno on here too. So it shows what gear you're in and what kind of horsepower and torque you're making. Yeah, really, really cool. I love how Dodge puts that in here. But yeah, guys, here is that scat pack. This one just looks so nice. Sounds great. They got the lower suspension on this one too, I believe. Really, really nice. All righty, I got a couple other cars for you guys too two Trackhawks. This one's a 2018 and this one is a 2020. So this one is a 2018. Like I said, this one's got a little over 44,000 miles. You already know from that Trackhawk logo there, this has to be one of the best looking steering wheels out there. And on top of that, this thing is fully loaded. You got all your modes here. You got the carbon fiber going all the way you get across. the premium leather seating of course heated and cooled really really nice and you get the supercharged badge right so there so as too. for this one you do get the black painted hood and the black painted roof looks really mean and aggressive especially with the bronze overlays on the grill there it looks really really nice of course, the yellow Brembos come standard and the wheels are the same between both now, of them. This has to be one of the best looking interiors I've seen on Trackhawk. You get the peanut butter, looks really, really nice with the white Trackhawk logo there. Absolutely beautiful. Now here, normally these are chrome, but these are black on the outside of the gauge clusters here and the modes and it looks beautiful. And another side note, guys, you can tell they put so much quality, so much time and effort into making this such an amazing car because you have the full suede all across your headliner. Really, really we nice. We go on to the back seats. It's the same thing. You still have the carbon fiber there. You still have the peanut butter. And another thing too, you get TVs in there. Alrighty guys, I think that's going to conclude this video. Let me know if you want to do a part two. I would be more than happy to post more of these. We we honestly just don't have too much inventory in right now. Uh, a couple of our cars, we have a Trackhawk in too, but that's in service right now, getting used vehicle prep done. And as always, if you guys want to check out any of these cars, the link is always in my description. And come into Bettenhausen CDJR here in Sinley Park, Illinois. We can set you up with whatever you need.